Let's consider an example at this point. Let's imagine that I am going to leave employment and set up a college that trains students to pass accountancy exams. Where do I start? Well, in order to run the training sessions, I'm going to need some building space with some classrooms in it. Those classrooms will probably need some computer equipment and some projection equipment, some projection screens. They'll need chairs and tables for the students to sit at. Uh, I'll need some students, of course, at some point, so some advertising will need to happen, maybe some phone calls to try and get people to come. I'll need a booking system. I'll need some administration staff. Some course materials would be useful as well. Oh, yes, and I'll need some tutors. Right. Well, let's say I want to start running classes next week. What I could do is start phoning around local buildings to see if anyone's got some spare space. If they have, let's hire that space for the day for my class. I now start phoning around people I know who've been tutors and try and find someone who's free who can teach this particular subject. So far, so good. I've got my room for the day. I've got my tutor for the day. I hire a part-time receptionist to deal with the students when they arrive and a part-time administrator to book all the students in and take the money. I now go to a materials company and organise the course materials that I need. I hire a computer, hire a projector, hire all the other equipment I need for the day and now the class can run. Problem is, all I've managed to organise is one day's class. What about day two for those students? Because I only hired things for the day, I've now got to go and hire all the same stuff again. And of course the building may not be available. The tutor may not be available. Now, surely if I buy material one day at a time, I'm going to have to pay full price. Would it not be better to buy it in bulk? Surely I'd pay a discount. Surely if I hired a tutor as a full-time employee, I'd know they were always available because I would control their time. And the students would see the same tutor day after day after day. They wouldn't get a different tutor every day. Likewise, buildings. Why don't I get my own building? Maybe buy one or at least have a long-term lease. So I know the building is there, the classrooms are there, I can kit them out with equipment and know that everything is ready for the course. The problem, of course, is that if I do the second option, I have to fix myself into contracts with my tutors, my equipment. It means I've got them and they're mine, but it also means committing myself to a lot of expense. It also reduces flexibility. At least if I'm booking it every day, I can get the best available thing that day. Whereas now I've got the same tutor every day, the same building every day, whatever happens. Maybe I'm going to miss out on opportunities as a result of this. Now, I describe this as transaction cost theory. What does that actually mean? Well, what it means is this. According to Coase, transaction cost theory suggests that directors, on average, would rather tie themselves into lots of deals and agreements because by doing that, they reduce their stress levels because they know that they've got everything they need for the foreseeable future. Given the choice between part-time staff and full-time staff, let's go full-time. Hire rooms or buy a building or take a long-term lease. Take the long-term lease or buy the building. By doing this, you avoid the time and the expense and the stress that goes into have to continually negotiating new deals. And that time and expense and stress, well, that is what's known as transaction costs, the costs of a transaction. The time in researching it, negotiating it, agreeing it, having to get new legal agreements every time you do it, takes a lot of time and money. So Coase believed that average... So Coase believed that on average, directors would prefer to sign themselves up to these agreements, potentially lose that flexibility, but have the benefit of being able to predict what would happen with their business in the future, because this would make it easier to control and more certain.